that little rainstorm was kind of nice. Feel a temperature drop, probably 10 degrees already. So, so if it stops. You know, they good solid hour and a half yet, so. Just seen that one duel so far. I saw the cattails wiggling over by that island earlier. I'm guessing there's something bedded up over there. It was just get up and probably got up and moved around. Because those cattails are probably five feet high. So you wouldn't even see the deer until unless it came out. So let's see what happens. So not only did I get soaked, which again, it felt good because it was so hot, <clears throat> I come back to the truck to this. I left my damn bin of clothes open and it poured, so everything's wet now. Great. So overall, it was a pretty good night. Um, <clears throat> when I walked in, I was going real slow, real quiet. Snuck up to the edge of the cattails, and I'm standing there picking out the tree I was going to get up in, and um, a doe got up from her bed right there in the cattails, started looking around, must have heard a little bit of rustling or whatever what I was doing there. <clears throat> and she never did look at me, but just looked around for a little while and then walked off. And I saw a couple after that out in the Oak Ridge. A lot of hemlock up there too, so it was really hard to see anything. But, uh, and then it poured rain for five minutes. And not only you saw my clothes got soaked in that bin, because me being a dumbass left the cover off of it before I went hunting, <clears throat> but that definitely saved that doe's life that uh, I got footage of. I mean, <laughs> Because it just had got done raining not long before that. And you couldn't hear nothing, of course. And the rain still dripping off the trees and whatever. And all the leaves, everything, grass was just quiet as can be. And I mean, that thing popped out five yards. I mean, it might have been possible for me to grab the bull, but whatever. I mean, it was just a doe, so it was not a big deal. There'll be more, but yeah, that uh, little rain shower definitely saved her life and soaked my clothes, which sucked. Well, tomorrow, um, Casey and I are going to be back out again, and hopefully I get to film her shooting something. But uh, I think it's supposed to rain most of the day tomorrow. So we'll definitely get inside the hoochie-coochie and make sure we're out of the rain. So, And, of course, if it was pouring, we're not going. So, well, Another good thing that happened tonight is, I mean, that was the first time ever in a tree trying to film. 
Um, so, and I was the, I just bought this cheap camera arm, and it wasn't that impressive, but it worked. But uh, I mean, I knew it was hard going into it. I mean, you can see that just by watching guys on YouTube and the Outdoor Channel, whatever, <clears throat> talking about it. It's it's rough, and uh, but man, it's it's fun. It's it adds more of a definitely more of a twist to bow hunting when you really got to get uh, when you got to get that camera on the deer and worry about getting your bow and pulling it back and all that stuff so every time out I plan on learning more I mean it's all you can do right see ya